Hey guys, we're Ronald from Red Motors, and today we're going to be working on a 2017, but it also works on a 2015 to 2021 GMC Yukon XL rear bumper. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on that push notification, and hit that like button. If you guys need any prepaid auto body parts for your car, go to RedMotor.com, your prepaid auto body parts source. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and lift up the trunk lid. As you guys can see right there, we're gonna take that uh, hex screw off and also one on this side. So we're gonna start from the top and then work our way to the bottom. All right, there's gonna be two hex screws right here. It's gonna be a size T20. Kind of look like this. So along the bumper right here, on the side, you're going to have 7 millimeters. You're looking at those bolts right there, all along the side. And then, if I can get one, there's a top one right there. Close up like this. Alright, so I'm going to go to the other side of the bumper and do the same thing that we did here. Guys going underneath the bumper, you're gonna see these bolts right there. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, and it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Okay, that'll be the last piece of the bumper. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and pull off the bumper. But if you guys want to take this off right here, this cover, hitch cover. There's going to be a plastic tab in the bottom that you just kind of unscrew off. Let me show you guys how to do that. So it's going to be these tabs right here. You kind of just unscrew them and tighten them back up when you want to put them on. But then you lift up because you want to get it off of these uh, tabs right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull one side off, we're going to yank the uh, one side and then go to the other side and then yank that off and then we're going to go ahead and pull the bumper back. But just make sure you don't pull it back too hard because you still have those sensors that you guys have to unplug. So let's go ahead and do the sides first. Grab one edge right here, pull, and then pull the Do that too. Alright, so on this side actually it's already off due to the accident, so we don't have to pull that the way we did the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the front or the rear and go ahead and pull the uh, bumper back softly or carefully so we don't uh, dislodge the sensors. If your vehicle doesn't have sensors, you don't have to worry about this, but since we have sensors on this vehicle, make sure you pull it out softly or carefully. So now we're going to go ahead and take apart the, uh, the accessories and put it back on the new one. Alright, so turn the bumper upside down and remember that cover, the tow hitch cover, we're going to need to take off that little piece right there that hooks onto the top of the tow cover. So I'm going to go ahead and drill those out. Those are going to be like little rivets, but you can just go ahead and drill those out. So you're going to need a drill. Now on the bottom of the bumper, you're going to see this lower valence black piece trim basically. It goes all the way around. As you can see, right there's going to be tabs, just push those in. And 
then if you go around the bumper right here in the metal piece you're gonna see those pins right there one two three missing one right here but one two three four so around like eight of them that you're gonna use a fly head this one's kind of dirty but you're gonna use this fly head to go and pry those up so let me show you guys how to pry those up first You guys look underneath the bumper that screws right there it's gonna be a seven millimeter that's holding that lower uh, lower valence together so you can get that seven millimeter right there you need a longer uh, socket that bolt looks like that Then if you guys look right there, there's another one, another 7mm, and that's going to coincide with the other side also. Okay, I'll start on one end. This one right here. And all you're going to do is push this tab down, and then pull out. Slowly. And just work your way around. Before going any further, right here we're gonna have to unbolt those right there. sensors right there. Okay, there's that module right here. So we're gonna start off with taking this off right here. All you need is a flat head. There's two of them, you gotta disconnect the other side too. So disconnect that one first. Disconnect this one next. There we go. Now it's loose. So then there's a bolt right here. Let me show you guys. Right there. Let's see if it just slides off. There we go. So I just slide it off. Here is gonna be the sensor. I'm just gonna push this tab right here and then push this tab right here and then just let it go. And then don't forget this uh, weather stripping. Okay. Let's keep on following and then remember these tabs, just pull up on them and then I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue pulling those on and taking the sensors off. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue taking it off. But if you have one of these pound mover tools, those uh, little tabs, you can use this one, it'll make it a lot easier for you.
So these clips right here, you're gonna take this off the old, this old bumper and then put it back on the new bumper. And there's gonna be a lot of them. Like there's some on this side, but this one's broken. So one thing I didn't catch on camera is gonna be like this little uh, module right here that was right here. Last thing is going to be this sill right here. You turn the bumper back up. This little piece right here, the step pad, that's easily uh, removable. Again, it's just going to be tapped when you push down. Alright, so there's that sill right there that you guys need. Remember, it's just like these tabs right here. You gotta push, push down, and then push down on these tabs right here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start putting this back together. Mind to comment down below if you guys have any questions about this, uh, this installation. And also, give us a like so we can produce more great content like this for you. Also, if you guys need any pre-painted auto body parts, go to redmo.com, your pre-painted auto body parts source. Thank you.